Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, today is, <clears throat> excuse me, March 17th. It's 8.41 a.m. March 17th. March 17th. Is that St. Patrick's Day? I don't know. I don't celebrate it anyway. It just sounds familiar. Yeah, I was kind of wondering. I wanted to ask you your opinion, and please put it in the comments. Would you rather he hear me talk more about the coronavirus also? Or would you rather hear more of the Word of God? Because I'm just wondering... I'm wondering if anybody tried to make a comment on the sermon I did on Sunday and that it just didn't post or did it just get ignored because it wasn't talking about the coronavirus. And although it is a very serious matter, I think, um, seems to be, right? I saw somebody, the, uh, they showed the comment about how so-and-so died, so-and-so's, how many has it that they know of, and so forth. I was watching Daniel from Logic Before Authority, and he was questioning, he said, how many of you actually know personally somebody who has it? Oh, it was one of my own commenters. Yeah. On, I forget which video, I think my last one, about prayer, how prayer changes things. Yeah, from the Patriot Nurse. I thought that was excellent. So I wanted to just go ahead and show the whole thing. I hope she didn't mind. I wouldn't think she would. Anyway, that's an excellent channel. If you want to check it out and subscribe, she gives not just tips on how to wash your hands, although she has a video on that. I personally believe 20 seconds is not enough. I tried it, counted it out, and I didn't even get to my fingernails. They say you're supposed to scrub your palms to get the soap into your fingernails, but then don't you want to pick it out like, you know, this? Get the soap and dirt out? I do. You can't do that in 20 seconds. So, it is my honest opinion that you need closer to a minute. So, find a song you can sing or count to 100. I don't know. Or 60. 100. It's a decim our decimal point system and dollar systems don't go together, do they? <laughs> Well, listen there. I don't want email. Go away. I have a scripture pulled up I want to read. This is another one that I found that is good to know that we will win and the powers that be will lose. Okay? And I want people to stop fearing this thing. It's It's happening. Okay, we were told in the Bible it was. I kind of didn't think we would see something like a pandemic before we were out of here. But perhaps it's a test of faith. Perhaps it's to get a lot of people to repent. Who knows why the Lord allows what he allows, but he does. So I want to go ahead and read this psalm. It's Psalm 94, if you want to add it to your list of things you can pray at night, or just read for comfort. And this is where we get our, our calmness when we read the Psalms that remind us who's in charge. I don't care who's created this virus, who started it, where it began, 
and why it's here in America or in your, it may be in your country. It's in a lot of countries. I forget the number now, 130 something. It goes up all the time. Yeah, and the numbers here in my county go up, uh, been going up every day. Well, that's because it's the biggest county in Alabama, the biggest city. Birmingham is the biggest city. We also have the best medical facilities. And <laughs> so naturally, people will come here. People come here from out of state. They make a day of it. They make all their appointments in one day, come from out of state, spend the night, and go home. Someone told me that. Anyway. So that's not surprising that our county has the most numbers. It doesn't bother me. You could have one and they could expose it to 10 and so on in any county. Anyway, let me get started. Let me encourage you this morning, okay? This is titled, so this first part at least, The Lord Implored to Avenge His People. That's us, y'all. This is the blueletterbible.org. I read it first in the book. <laughs> I use that in the morning now and um, loving it. <laughs> I read three. I wanted to read Psalm 91 to see how it compared to the way I wrote it out and read it off my desktop. Okay, and they're very similar. I just changed a few words to say, I will not be afraid, and I this and I that. So anyway, let's get started. This is Psalm 94. Um, o Lord, God of vengeance, God of vengeance, shine forth. And the footnote says for vengeance for vengeance or avenging acts god of avenging acts shine forth rise up o judge of the earth render recompense to the proud how long shall the wicked o lord how long shall the wicked exalt? They pour forth words. They speak arrogantly. Boy, don't they? <sighs> All who do wickedness vaunt themselves. <clears throat> Excuse me. They crush your people, O Lord, and afflict your heritage. Not anymore. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the orphans. They have said, The Lord does not see, nor does the God of Jacob pay heed. Oh, yes, he does. Pay heed, you senseless among the people. And when will you understand, stupid ones? I like that. Yeah, those of you who spy on our channels, pay attention. How long? How long? Pay heed, you senseless among the people. And when will you understand, stupid ones? He who planted the ear, does he not hear? He who formed the eye, does he not see? Yes, he does. He hears and sees everything. You can't do anything in your underground military base dumps. Deep underground military bases. You can't do anything down there. I don't care how luxurious you made it. You will not survive down there. And you can't say or do anything that the Lord God Almighty doesn't see. He who chastens the nations, will he not rebuke? Yes, he will. Even he who teaches man knowledge, yes, he will. 
The Lord knows the thoughts of man, that they are a mere breath. Blessed is the man whom you chasten, O Lord, and whom you teach out of your law. So if you feel like you're being chastened for something you did, you're going through it because of your sins, be thankful the Lord is chastening you here on earth and not in hell. If it has caused you to turn from your sins and start committing to Him and praising and worshiping Him, be thankful. Be thankful. Okay. Let's see. Blessed is the man whom you chasten, O Lord, and whom you teach out of your law that you may grant him relief from the days of adversity until a pit is dug for the wicked. Yeah, they're getting theirs. They will get theirs. For the Lord will not abandon his people, nor will he forsake his inheritance. For judgment will again be righteous, and all the upright in heart will follow it. I believe that will be in the millennial reign of Christ. Who will stand up for me against evildoers? Who will take his stand for me? against those who do wickedness. If the Lord had not been my help, my soul would soon have dwelt in the abode of silence. If I should say, my foot has slipped, that's, I've sinned, I've slipped up and I sinned. Your loving kindness, O oh Lord, will hold me up. That's what I think it means. My foot has slipped. Your loving kindness, O oh Lord, will hold me up. When my anxious thoughts multiply within me, your consolations Delight my soul. Can a throne of destruction be allied with you? One which devises mischief by decree? I don't think so. They think so, but they're wrong. They're stupid. They band themselves together against the life of the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord has been my stronghold, and my God, the rock of my refuge. Don't you forget that. You could write that on a sign, decorate it a little bit, put it in a frame, and hang it where you see it. But the Lord has been my stronghold, and my God, the rock, of my refuge or any one of the verses no plague will enter into my house from Psalm 91 10 that's a good one if you're worried about this plague stop it not worrying will not add a single day to your life he has brought back their wickedness upon them and will destroy them in their evil. The Lord our God will destroy them. And the footnote is silence. The Lord our God will silence them. That's probably how the King James says it. Yep, they'll be silenced, all right. Well, we won't hear them. They'll be screaming in hell, but we won't hear them. Too bad. It's too bad. There's so many 
that have sold their souls to Satan and they could be saved because I knew of, well, and there's several here on YouTube that were either Satanists, high-level witches, uh, heavy into the occult, casting spells on people, and they, God got their attention and they somehow got away from it. And the Lord protected them. Because if you just pull out on your own. Because you see that he's a liar. And that he doesn't do people right. And something in your soul says that ain't right. I'm out of here. And you just leave a cult on your own. Without the protection of Jesus Christ. They'll kill you. They do kill people that do that. And they go to hell anyway because they haven't accepted the Lord as their Savior. They just walked out on their own. So I hope and pray that people who choose to leave Satan because he's a liar and they see it, I pray they get snatched up by the Lord Jesus Christ through somebody right quick before they get killed, taken out, you know what I just said. So I hope this has encouraged you to remind you that we, you know the scripture, greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Well, don't forget it. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. This plague is, is satanically devised. It's the Illuminati. It's part of the New World Order plan. They want to see how obedient all the peoples are going to be from the tell lie vision. And aren't we, though? What choice do we have? But you know what? It doesn't matter. The Lord is in control. And I think we're just in a practice run. That is my honest opinion. After the 5G gets installed in all the places where they want it. Yeah, it is St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, go away. I don't care. I just got notified it's St. Patrick's Day. Let's not forget to wear green. I'm going to keep this pink shirt on. How about you? I re refuse to participate in any saint day. All right. What was I saying after I got so rudely interrupted by that little notice? That the Lord is on our side. You stay on his. Whatever you do. Whatever happens. Please keep praying Psalm 91. Please keep proclaiming 91.10. No plague will enter into my house. No plague will enter into my house. Okay? Do not despise the word of the God, word of God in place of mainstream media news. Yeah, they're, they're yakking out all the numbers every day. I even got my phone set to how many are going up in, in the state of Alabama. I'm just keeping up with it because it affects me here and what they're going to do. And are they going to allow even boxes to be sent to us? Are they going to even stop that? I hope not. But let me tell you a really good thing that happened yesterday. I told this older gentleman... He was like 90. He was going. And then and there was a lady too. She must not have a very good memory. They were going down to breakfast yesterday. When I was taking my dog out. And I said. Didn't you know there's no longer any continental breakfast? There's, there's no food down there. The poor old lady was like. What? What am I going to eat? I don't have anything in my apartment. I said, can you eat some yogurt or some instant oatmeal? I've got that. And she said, no. Like she didn't want that. 
I said, well, I'm going to tell you something. You go down to the second floor to the people who are running that desk that are checking people in, and you tell them you have nothing to eat. And you, This might have been a couple days ago because yesterday they put out a notice. This lady from Dietary, I was so thrilled. Yeah, that happened Monday. Gosh, I'm losing track of the days. This is only Tuesday, right? Anyway, must have been Sunday that happened. <laughs> she was delivering to every door to make sure. Because some people don't check their mail for days. I'm one of them. <laughs> she was delivering these notices from door to door saying that free continental breakfasts would be delivered to your room free of charge. And if you normally get lunch or dinner, supper, you, we had to, they put a sign up sheet on every bulletin board for independent living. And all you had to do was sign your name, put your room number, and check off breakfast and lunch. Because most people go down and eat lunch. I don't. So, and I, I have my own food for breakfast for now. And I would prefer it to their pastry. Even though I would love to go down now and then get a biscuit. I never know when it's going to be a biscuit or a donut. <laughs> Which are not good for me, so I don't go often. So I didn't sign up. Anyway, um, I was thrilled that they are going to take care of the independent living people that rely on um, that free breakfast because the costs of a, some of these rooms is really high because more square footage. The plate, the areas are kitchens are bigger, bathrooms are bigger, they're nicer. It's just the way this place was built. Anyway, that's enough said about this place. That's why I keep up with the Alabama business. But I'm not saying there's anything wrong with watching those videos. Let's keep up with the coronavirus. I may do a video now and then about it. But there's so many out there that I just wonder, do you want me reporting on it too? Uh, is that what you'd rather hear? And I'd like your honest opinion about, if so, why, and things you would like to hear. If you want me to do a study on a certain thing, or you'd like to hear more about a certain thing, just put it in the comments because I don't want to waste my time doing Bible studies if it's not helping anybody but 23 or 24 people. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather do something for the majority. Although, if that sermon helped those 24 people that watched, great, awesome. I'm glad. Uh, I want to do what the Lord wants me to do, but I'd also like your input. Then I can pray to him about it and say, Lord, would you like me to do a video on this? And if so, how would you like me to go about it? Okay? With that, I'm going to plead the blood of Jesus over this video and the internet connection myself and my computer. And over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections so we can stay connected. We must fellowship until we're out of here if possible. Okay? All right. With that, I'm going to say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.